Hey everybody, it's Nate from Explorers.life. I teach people how to build DIY campers, and this video is the first video of a new playlist covering the very basics of how to wire your camper. I'm talking 101 level skills that you'll need to tackle DIY electrical projects in your camper. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to cut wire. Now cutting wire is a pretty simple task as long as you have the right tools for the job. And since there's a really good chance that in your electrical project, you'll have to cut wires from as small as 22 gauge wire all the way up to huge four out wire, I'm going to talk you through my choices for tools that will allow for maximum wire cutting effectiveness and minimum cussing. Now, before we get started, I put together a list of tools that we'll be talking about today in the description below. So if you need more info on these, that's where to look. Let's get started. To cut small wire, my tool of choice is a pair of dikes. Now, when I was writing the script for this video, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't being unnecessarily offensive by using a word that could be considered derogatory, so I looked into why these are called dikes. The official name for this type of tool is actually diagonal cutters. Diagonal cutters is like five syllables long, so it got shortened down to dikes. Dikes still didn't roll off the tongue quite like it should, and if you say it fast enough, dikes just sounds like dikes, so here we are, but I digress. I have two sets of dikes, a 4 inch set and an 8 inch set. The 4 inch set is spring loaded, making for nice handling. It costs about 13 bucks and is fantastic for wires in the 14 to 22 gauge realm, but can cut 10 gauge without too much issue. Any bigger than that, and I'm reaching for my 8 inch dikes. 8 inch dikes run about $13 to $22, depending on which brand you like, and they have more leverage to cut bigger wire, which is great for cutting wire up to 6 gauge wire or 10 gauge multi-conductor wire. But on this, I do usually need to make two snips to make it all the way through. I consider my eight inch dikes an absolute staple in my toolbox as it does seem to cut the largest range of wire sizes the best. Now, if the wire gets much bigger than six gauge, dikes just don't have enough leverage. So for bigger wire, I'm usually reaching for these nine inch cable cutters. These make really easy work of cutting wire as small as 10 gauge and are capable of cutting two watt stranded copper wire. These also do a good job of making it through the six gauge three conductor wire that I like to install between the Victron Multi Plus inverter charger and the camper breaker box. The last tool on my list is this big monstrosity. These are 16 inch cable cutters. These are key for cutting the four out wire required for camper electrical systems, including 3000 watt inverters. Now they'll cut through four out like butter and I'll generally also use these for two out because just how much leverage I can get on them. Now these are pretty pricey at nearly $60, but when building a 600 amp hour system with a 3000 watt inverter, it takes about 30 cuts to complete the project. So it is what it is. Now, which ones of these are absolutely necessary? Of the tools shown today, if I could only pick two wire cutting tools for my next project, it would largely depend on what size of wire I was gonna be cutting. If I needed to cut four out wire, I would be choosing these 16 inch cable cutters and the eight inch dikes. And if the biggest wire I needed to cut was too hot, I would be choosing the nine inch cable cutters and the eight inch dikes. But getting all four would allow you the most flexibility for all wire sizes that you're gonna possibly encounter in your DIY camper electrical project and give you the right tool for the job. Now there are tons of other tools out there that can cut wire. Needle nose pliers, end cutters, wire strippers, tin snips, band saws, angle grinders are all capable of cutting wires. And if I skipped over your favorite method of cutting wires, sorry, no offense, just my preferences here. Now that pretty much sums up this video, but be sure to check out the next video in the playlist because that video is going to cover how to strip wires from 22 gauge all the way up to 4 aught. Now if this video helped you out, it'd be awesome if you give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody who could use it. Subscribe if you want to see more DIY camper videos, and I will see you in the next video.